Move over, FM2. The F5 is the real tank. The Nikon F5 is the fifth camera in the brand's line of professional film SLRs, hence its name. When first introduced in 1996, the F5 proved to be ahead of its time, with major advances never before seen in any camera, intermediate or pro level. Among those features were 3D matrix metering, a self-adjusting shutter, a mirror balance system that reduced camera shake as well as support for vibration reduction lenses, which were fairly new at the time of the F5's release, 8 frames per second without the use of an external mortar drive fully built in, improved autofocus, an integral battery grip operated by 8 AA batteries, adding to its weight, various modes including manual, program, shutter priority, and of course aperture priority, which was first introduced 15 years earlier by its older sibling, the F3. Another significant feature about the F5 is its versatility with almost all F-mount lenses, with the exception of the pre-AI ones. However, the G lenses, uh, which are fairly new, dating back to about the F5's release date, 1996, um, can mount on it without a problem. Uh, this is a good example, the Sigma Art, which is very popular amongst uh, photographers. This would be my ideal recommendation for any Nikon digital photographer trying to flirt with film while remaining on a budget. If you shoot with a Nikon DSLR like mine, a D610, and also film, you have two options. To shoot either AFD lenses, which have a built-in aperture ring and can meter on any body made after 1976. Another option would be, if you're a bigger fan of G lenses, or third-party F mount prime such as the Sigma Art and want to shoot with them on analog your best bet would be a Nikon F5 or the scaled down lighter and affordable F100 where you can control the aperture on the body. All in all stick to one brand it'll be a bang for your buck. The earlier film bodies that had the um, 8 frames per second so if you just go change if you change it from S which means single shot and go to CH and then fire away. Today I'll be shooting with my good friend Layla. We go back all the way, way eight years. We go way back, <laughs> eight years. <laughs> and I figured the perfect film uh, to use because I'll be taking portraits of her would be Fuji 400H. So, see if you want to move back just a little bit more. <laughs> yep. Hey, it's nature, not your fault. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, and just kind of have your hands like, uh, pretend like you're opening it and you're trying to escape. One, two, three. Um, move your hair a little bit. There's the... One, two, and three. Do you want to um, zip your jacket up for this? Um, go in a little so we can cover one of your eyes. Yeah, let's do a few silly shots. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> yes. Want to see how they came out? Oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> you 
can just kind of like go. Actually, lean your head against it. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Let's do one of you playing with your hair. Just kind of like pulling it down. Go like this. That. This has been another episode of Dan Bullman Photography. Peace.